Welcome to Sega Saturn Sunday. Uh, it's been a while since we're done with these, isn't it? Um, so yeah, I got a bit inspired to play Gunbird for the Sega Saturn. Uh, and I was watching Daz uh, Conus Dolores, or Schmups and stuff as he's called now. Um, and if you've not seen his channel before, there'll be a link, hopefully below, uh, to go and see what he's all about. He's He does a bit of a talk about this. Which obviously I'm not going to do now, I'm not going to bore you with it if you're going to watch that as well. Because he, he does it such better finesse than I do. Um, but yeah, um, I've, I thought I've not actually played this game. Even though I've got like three copies of it right in front of me. I've got this version of the Sega Saturn. Uh, the PlayStation 2 Special Edition, which I don't know what's special about it. And the one I've just played now, which is my Mobile Light Force, which is the PAL PlayStation 1 one. Now, um, I played it on the PlayStation 3 on the big screen TV uh, just because I know um, it kind of solves the flicker issue. You don't have flicker. I know that's what I've been having a lot on these Sega so Saturn Sundays. But um, I thought of a quick go on this, put it, pop it onto the side and play it properly. And you know what? The flicker seems to have gone right now. So um, I'll play it back if the flicker's there. I'll put the PlayStation 1 on. And then if not, then I'll put this, up, this on. But yeah, let's let's give it a go. Finally, give it a go. Um, well, I say finally. I've, I have had a quick go, quick, briefly. So let's see what characters. Yeah, it's a very character-based shooter. It's pretty funny that Valnus there. He was actually called uh, Milf Two Thousand in the in the Mobile Light Force PAL version. So yeah, I thought I'd try this character. Um, reminds me of uh, what's he called, the Rocketeer. So yeah, this game's pretty cool. It's sort of like a um, steampunk style shooter, which you don't really see too many of them around. Um, obviously, I think... Um, sorry, I'm doing concentrating. Steel Empire is one that I remember on the Mega Drive, and I don't think there is many more. I mean, obviously, maybe the I mean, Gunbird 2, but I think that might not... Not quite steampunk, I think that's just like a little bit different. But yeah, um, if you know of any other steampunk shooters, let me know, because uh, it's pretty cool. Oh, this character, I prefer this character already. This is a right badass compared to the others. Don't know what she's saying, but it's probably something pretty cool. Look at it. I mean, it, the, the other thing that this reminds me of is Chrono Trigger. Um, this looks like the smug version of Chrono Trigger, so... Uh, yeah, let's try and not kill ourselves. This boss seems to kick my ass a little bit. Um, but yeah, not as much as it was on the PlayStation 1. Now, the PlayStation 1, if you notice how I'm playing this is in tight mode. Uh, so the TV's on its side, which it makes the game uh, able to be played like it, like it is in the arcades, basically. Um, the resolution's much more matched. Um, and what I noticed with the PlayStation 1 one was that whenever I was going up, it felt like there was more lag than there was. Because um, it felt like, I think that basically the screen was following up and down uh, the Tate screen. So it, it it would just feel very weird, very rubbery. And it was just, I just couldn't play it. Near enough impossible to play properly. I mean, you, you could probably get used to it, but why would you do that when you've got the... Well, superior version here. That is the Sega Saturn. I mean, look at it. It's such a stunning game, actually. Uh, and it's not one of them bullet hell games that's like totally in your face. Although it does have its moments, like it just did just then. Um, yeah. Just trying to concentrate here. Um, Yeah, I don't know if the PlayStation 1 version has the Tate mode on it, so it, it, it could probably iron out all the problems I had. Um, it'll be quite interesting to, to find out, really. I did try and go into the options to see if there was any, like, screen modes and stuff, because um, a lot of the Saturn ones I know, or at least Japanese Saturn ones, have screen modes. So you can, you can do different things if you wanted to. Um, I mean, they really knew how to play the shooters. It, we was just an afterthought. Like, they thought, oh, we'll just release these games. <laughs> Someone might like them. <laughs> and some people did. And that was us. But the proper people imported them. Ooh, yeah. 
God, some close, close bits there. Let's get that. Let's power up and let's have it. Let's have it. So yeah, does if you're watching this, great suggestion. Um, proper. I just love these games that have got like a real full-on like fantasy sort of feel to them. They're not just in the army shooting over helicopters. Although, don't get me wrong, I do have fun with them. But I mean, look at this. There's like little guys at the bottom just like walking up and down. Like <laughs> it's just that like little e extra bits of detail that makes these kind of games more fun for me. Love it. Oh shit! <laughs> I think I just went straight in that purpose and just full on kamikaze myself. Oh, what I need to do is bomb. Oh, them bombs are a bit slow to react actually. I don't think you could use a bomb to get out of a tight. Oh, I thought she was getting flipping her breasticles out then. Yeah, I don't think you could use your bombs to get out of a tight situation like you can like on like say Battle Garega or like there, like I should have probably have just attempted. Oh Jesus Christ, this boss is gonna kill me. I actually played it a second ago and I didn't get hit once with this boss. And now I just got decimated. But that's it with the, sh the shooters. Sometimes you can do really well, like, and then you can just do really shit like this. Let's have another flipping continue. What have we been doing? Seven minutes. I shouldn't have looked at the screen then. So we've got two continues, but is it two continues? I've got one less life because I kind of cheat myself a bit. Oh yes, let's have it. Oh yes, the Sega Saturn is such a superior console to the PlayStation 1, isn't it? I mean, look at this game. Couldn't, couldn't handle it on the old PlayStation 1. Yeah, what I'm gonna do as well, I'm gonna play PlayStation PlayStation 2 version after this, I think, as well. Um, I won't put that one on YouTube. And I'm going to see what the differences are. I've got a feeling you might be able to get away with the tight A mode um, in a normal screen mode, like sideways. And that's probably what the special bit of it is. Because obviously there was a bit, a bit more resolution on a PlayStation 2, wasn't there? So it could handle fitting a screen like this in sideways, if that makes sense. Oh Jesus, not doing very well. Gotta stop talking. Oh, the battle music just sounds great. Just proper gets you pumped on it. Gets you pumped. I'm not, I'm going to say them famous words, yeah there we go, <laughs> I was going to say, I'm going to say them famous words, this boss isn't that hard and then, yes, of course I die. Right, okay, well that's a quick view of, um, what is it, what have I just played, Gunbird, <laughs> or my Mobile Light Force, if you have played either of these games, let me know, oh look at that, first, did a bit better this time, um, there we go, put myself, put my name in. There we go, as I said, I tested it a second ago. But yeah, um, if you've played this, let me know. And maybe even if you wanted to put yourself a quick video up playing it, by all means, because it's uh, it's just great to see other people play it. See what we do wrong. So right, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.